Welcome Ninja Kumas. I am doing a quick gold guide on World of Warcraft to show you how to make money with enchanting. But before we get started with the enchanting, I'm first going to log on to my main and get the required materials. Um, the best strategy for this is to gather crap tons of garrison resources, open up a trade center and exchange them for Dratanic Dust. The uh, reason you exchange Dratanic Dust rather than buy it off the AH or um, disenchant items is because the price of selling greens to a vendor is actually higher than um, is a higher value of, sorry it's a better value to sell it to a vendor than it is to disenchant it for the dust because the dust is cheaper than the price that you vendor the item which is confusing but let's roll with it um, and what you basically do once you have crap tons of Dratanic dust is you get a level 2 or level 3 um, enchanting building and you get yourself a level 100 um, follower with the enchanting trade. What the enchanting trade does is it doubles the output. So you put 5 Dratanic dust in the enchanting building and usually it will give you, I don't know, 1 or 3 um, fragments for the, at the crystal however this will double it so instead of one you'll get two instead of two you'll get four anyway so what you do is you make sure the work orders are completely maxed out which they are and luckily for me I have a few of these um, rush orders handy so I'm gonna rush a few orders like this to rush them there we go three hours okay I'm gonna pick up these orders I'm getting 80 fragments in that lot. I'm gonna rush another series of orders. Um, I'm just showing you rushing orders essentially does what will normally take a day. So you will get about 15 to 20 orders in a day done and I'm doing that in a couple of seconds because I've got these rush orders. You can get them too from uh, garrison follower missions but I'm just doing them quickly for the sole purpose of Stay showing away you how from to the make voodoo. money. Um, let's do another series. It's not ready yet. It's Hopefully by now you will have a lot of these fractured temporal crystals. And what I should have probably mentioned, well, I did sort of mention, you need enchanting to do this. Okay, so we've got basically 200 fragments. Unfortunately this character doesn't have enchanting, so I will mail this to my enchanter. Mail it across. There we go. Let's log on to my enchanting tune. I got my paladin to be the enchanting tune. Reason being, if you ever go raiding, um, you can always get off spec gear. You can't do that on the hunter. So you get off spec gear and you just enchant it. Okay, let's see if there's any missions. One mission, cool, we got it. Um, you can get a temporal crystal once a day, you know, from the daily thing, but that's fine. But what we're going to do is essentially turn all these fragments into crystals. So I'm going to put it down here in the bar and keep clicking too. And we just watch our number of crystals increase slowly. It's still recharging. Very slowly. What we are essentially going to create is the most profitable thing on the AH. So at the moment, we've it's got um, a weapon enchant called Mark of the Shattered Hand. It's it just takes recharged. one temporal crystal it's and one yet. enchanting vellum, which is about nine recharging. silver. So for one temporal crystal, we can make 152 gold on the AH. Cool. Um, but that's really slow to it's sell. What's really profitable are these gifts of critical yet. strike and gift of mastery ring enchants. So four temporal crystals and recharging. three it's sorceress water yet. or three I sorceress air will get us around 730 gold. The good thing about this is if every temporal crystal is worth about 100 gold, it's only 300. It's not so we're turning yet. these it's three sorceress airs or waters for about 400 gold it's so there's a big yet. profit it's margin i don't buy the sorcerers airs or waters earth or it's fires reason being it's when you're doing your daily recharging. things such as the enchanting I can't use that um building or it's the blacksmithing or the leather working or the tailoring i do all of them I can't use that they drop you get them as a bonus, it's so you get them for free. Yet. And if you're anything like me, you will stack I them up. So I've got 158 airs, 193 fires, and it's 60 waters. At what you will essentially do once we convert recharging. all these crystals is we just create a crap ton of these. 
So you just enchant him into a vellum. And it's real easy money, guys. Um, create a few. Create a few gifts of critical strike. The way to obtain these patterns is um, get your enchanting up in Warlords of Draenor. Um, you do the daily uh, research, Secrets of Draenor Enchanting, which only cost you 3 Dratanic Dust. Do that now. I think if you collect 3 or 4 of them, um, you can buy one of these ring enchants. There is also a neck enchant, which is uh, just as profitable. It's called Gift of Mastery. However, it requires Sorcerer's Earth, and I use those for those hex weave bags on my tailor, which just so happen to be 30 slot bags. Um, I sort of craft everything myself. I'm sort of efficient that way. Um, I'd recommend you do it too if you're making alts. If you're playing alts, get a different profession up on them, especially in Wallets of Draenor, you can make a lot of money from them. If not, you just get heaps of daily mats from them, which is really useful. Okay, so what we are going to do is go to the AH and post these items up now. Um, this guide goes great hand in hand with my other gold guide. Um, the Greetings. passive garrison income gold guide. Okay, so mark of the shouted hand, do we have anything up? See, someone already upbitted me. I mean, outposted me. So... If you're wondering which add-ons I'm using, I'm using Auctioneer. I'm very old school. Um, you can just sort of download it. Okay, so we're already the cheapest one. I've put sort of three Enchant Gift of Masters up for 800 each. How about Gift of Critical Strike? And I've got four. So what will happen after a few days, and I kid you not, this is after a few days. As you can see, these mail 29 days ago, 29 days ago, 28 days ago. So in about two days of AH, this is how much profit you will get, AHing infinite dusts and these enchanting weapons and rings things. So we're seeing the little dusts, three gold, 76 silver each, a few didn't sell, and now the big money makers are going to come in. Oh, by the way, the post add-on is called Postal. It's really useful. I'm too lazy to right-click. Okay, we go, Mark of Warsong, 2.6k, another 2.5k for Mark of Bleeding Hollow, um, Weapon of Shattered Hand didn't sell, Mark of Shattered Hand did sell a few, Gift of Mastery, Gift of Mastery, see we're making lots of money, so in about two days of enchanting, we would have made 14,000 gold. Look, if you've got a few alts, as I do, and they've got a level 2 enchanting uh, building, and they've got a level 100 follower, you could do this on a daily basis. I do it on a daily basis. Um, you know, I've got an enchanting ult, which is lightning. Um, Sniper Wars got an enchanting building. All my other characters have enchanting buildings. Reason being, I disenchant the blue items. I've entered the greens, I disenchant the blues because they drop a lot of Dratanic Dust and can also drop that. Um, blue crystal. Epics, unfortunately, they can't disenchant, but these ones can. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much how you make money using enchanting in World of Warcraft Warlords of Draenor. If you go raiding, if you go casual LFR raiding or normal raiding, you will make more, but this is an easy passive way to make um, gold that doesn't require a lot of effort. This is sort of passive, long term. So, yeah, use this strategy however you will and hopefully stockpile gold and buy mounts and other goodies. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this guide, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button and uh, be sure to leave some comments in the section below. Ninja Kuma out. Bye.